If you haven't yet heard of the Ice Bucket Challenge, welcome to your first time on the internet. No matter how you feel about it, you can't argue with the results. With over $20 million raised for ALS research, I can't call it anything but a success. But how do these donations relate to the actual number of people reached? Let's say, for example, that they did a Jerry Lewis-type telethon, and that they reached 2 million people. That sounds like a lot, right? But to reach these current numbers, every single one of those 2 million people would have had to donate $10, which is pretty unlikely. And in the grand scheme of things, 2 million isn't really that high of a number, especially considering Facebook has over 1.2 billion active users. So why does Facebook work so effectively? Well, let's take a look at the map. One person dumps ice on their head and donates $10. Then they nominate three more people who then dump ice on their own head and nominate three people each. So on and so forth. In math, we call this an exponential growth model. Because every time the number increases, the amount by which it increases also goes up. So every step reaches exponentially more people than the last. So how many shares do you think it would take to reach 2 million people? Take your time. Think about it. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not even wearing a watch. So how many shares did you guess? A couple of hundred? A couple thousand? Considering the number of people on Facebook, that doesn't really sound like a lot. But what if I told you it would only take 13 shares? Yep, just 13. Here's how it works. We have our first person who nominates three people. Three people. Who then nominates three people each. So three more people. And then three more people again. So we're multiplying by three another time every step. So we can make it look like this, 1, 3, 3 squared, 3 cubed, 3 to the 4th, so on and so forth. This is an exponential growth model. So we can shrink it into a formula that makes it easier to calculate. Shrink it down like this. The big sigma just means that we're going to add everything together. This is called a summation. So it's 3 to a power, so we write 3 to the n. And then we're just going to fill numbers in for that n spot. So we want to start at zero, so below the sigma we write a zero, and then we pick whatever our maximum number is on the top. Let's do 13. We plug that into our fancy calculator, and we get 2.3 million people. That's 300,000 more than our Jerry Lewis-like telethon. At 15, we have over 21 million people. So take a guess at how many shares you think it would take to reach the entire population of Facebook if everybody shared with three people less than 20. Once we hit 20 shares, it's over 5 billion people. That's almost five times the population of the biggest social media platform on the planet. So whether you think this is an effective way to raise money or not, I think the math speaks for itself. So we're saving lives and raising awareness to the art of annoying Facebook statuses. My wife's gonna kill me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>